All right, today, guys, we are going to be talking about multiplicative comparison. All right, so we just watched a short little video clip to start our day, and it explained what multiplicative comparisons are. Remember, multiplicative comparison, multi, like you're multiplying, and comparison, you're comparing two or more things. All right, so Sally is five years old. Her mom is eight times older. How old is Sally's mom? We know that Sally is five years old. Okay. We do not know how old her mom is. So we are trying to figure out how old mom is. Mom is an unknown right now. We do not know what she is. Okay. So her mom is eight times older. Again, we don't know what that is. How old is Sally's mom? All right, so we can use manipulatives to solve a problem like this. Pretend you had some blocks in your hand or some pieces of paper or something, and you had five of them. This represents Sally because Sally is five years old. All right, mom is eight times older than that. So what we can do is we have manipulatives. We could put them in groups of eight until we got eight times older. So we would need eight groups for mom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. If you notice, each of these groups have five because remember, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five represent Sally. So down here, each of the groups of five represent how much older mom is. So we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay. And we know that we just put eight groups of five to determine mom's age. You could also use the same type of problem with visual models or a picture. And that's going to be really important this year because it's going to be harder to use manipulatives, right? So we could say, draw a picture with a square, whatever you want. I don't care if it's a smile face, triangle, whatever, and represent this. One represents Sally, and Sally is five years old. Then we can take and make, again, eight groups of five. Instead of counting like we did by ones here, we could simply count by fives. In multiplication, this is called skip counting. Okay, so you skip count to find your answer. Now, we haven't talked about the answer yet. We can also represent it as a multiplication problem. This key word right here, eight times, is telling you that in this case, it's a multiplication problem. Remember, multiplicative means to multiply. Okay, most of the time when you see the word times like you do in this problem right here right here it means you're going to multiply so we know that sally is five and her mom is eight times older okay we can see that sally's mom is 40. if we go 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 we know that sally's mom who is eight times older than sally is 40 years old so right now, we are going to practice some problems together. 